that's cute. Do you believe that? Do you think I'm some sort of... It's in the eyes. Oh my god, it's in monster. the eyes. Yes. Oh. Pick it up and cut me out of here. I'm gonna save the pinchers, man. Against your better judgment, oh. you place the blade against the princess's arm. Oh, I'm, a, I'm dead. GG's. She's gonna do some wild, wicked stuff. Oh my god, GG's. But you could always try it on. What's she trying to... What's she trying to do? Yo, I'm with it. You know, I'm with it. No, you don't got to What? Cold days, blown with a stone face. Rose drip to the bone and going his own way. Loaded on the trip to the cold and it's gone pay. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, we have a heart and see through. And see them through. There's no premature endings. There's no wrong decisions. There's only perspectives and new beginning. Yo, Joe, I'm scared. Yo, bro, this is a love story. Hold on. <laughs> Joe, I'm scared, fam. <laughs> I'm scared. Yo, I'm not even scared for real. Ew. All right, man. Let's hop right into it. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. I'm locked, Joe, I'm locked. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, my fault. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hold on. Whoa. Yo, this is a deep game. Hold on. I got decisions. Okay. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? That's a spit. That's a spit. Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Nah. Can't someone else do this? That's lazy. Forget it, I'm not doing this. That's W. Have you considered that maybe I'm not okay with the world? I'm okay with the world ending? That's an arm ass response and I feel that a lot actually. That's my true self thinking if I'm being honest. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I always wanted to monarch viva la. Okay. Hmm. Let me go with the, my real ending. Of course okay. I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. That's a cap. I mean, maybe some people do. Like nihilists or very, very evil people, but... Surely you're not one of those, right? No, I am. My fault. I am. Silent, continue to the cabin. Uh, killing a princess. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? That's another spit. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. My fault, and bro just told me shut up. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste That's even more spit. of our time by Hold asking on. how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the, bro, this cabin, is me think, the world bro. will end. I feel there it. is Hold no on. changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. This is a great game to play good, by the way. No Unless, cap. I feel like I'm intensely You do your in. job and slay her. Turn around and leave. Hold on. That's going to end the game, I feel like, bro. I'm not going to turn around and leave. Are you finishing this tonight? You know I am, Joe. Come on. You make your way up the short path oh, to the oh, w You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Hold on. Don't believe a word she says. So how do I believe the narrator go through this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. 
ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yo, this is gonna mess up my head. I'm feeling it. Hold on, fam. Let me tee up. I'm off to go. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls <laughs> are painted in me? a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I, I guess. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Yo, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying, right? Why did the narrator want me to kill bro so bad? Would well, kill her so bad? The door to the basement Twins. creaks open, Sweet. revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Whoa! Why the princess sound like that? She sounds dangerous. Hold on! That's it's dangerous? As if she's the one in charge down here. Nah, the voice of the hero gotta be some kind of what you call it. Don't let it fool Punk. you. It's dangerous? all part of the manipulation. Hi! <laughs> Don't be a stranger. And it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Don't mind if I do. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. I'm cutting her out. I'm not going to lie. She's getting cut out. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. The narrator, no, nah, he's pushing this too hard, though. You feel me? Why is he pushing me to kill her so hard? And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. <laughs> what? No way. Why would you even think that? <laughs> Nuh-uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steer your nerves and step forward. That's some thug stuff to do. Do I thug it out? I'm gonna thug it. Ooh. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? What do you mean? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. She's trying to manipulate so, me. You should just. You can't manipulate it. a manipulator Best game. Not to risk Come on. Finding out what I can do. Oh, my fault. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Nah, narrator's wick, bro. Twins wildin'. Slay the princess. Drop the blade. I'm not dropping the blade. I'm sorry. Can we just talk? Are you sure she's on? <laughs> No cap. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? I mean, I'm not dropping a blade. I'm sorry. Can we just talk? I'm sorry he's punk. He's a demon. Nah, Twitch trying to get me to murder eyes, bro. I'm not dropping then the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. What do you mean? Squint at the princess while you hold her to the... What is me squinting at her finna do? Fine, I guess I'm... I guess we're at an impasse. You stare at the princess, squinting. She squints back. The two of you are gonna do this forever, aren't you? Yeah. You squint, <laughs> squint even, even harder. harder. <laughs> so does she. At least nobody's dying right now. You're going Young. to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone. Oh is no, going we've been having a staring contest. They've been coming to that. Come on, princess. You better. You know me. You know my body. Oh dang. Fine. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands. She's gonna murderize me. Drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. 
thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. I don't like how you said talk. Against your better judgment. Oh no! To speak I'm dead. I'm scared, Joe. I'm scared. Oh I'm my gosh, she's gonna nah. She gonna do some crazy. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you, there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Yo, she's gonna do some craze. Look at her eyes, fam. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. You better be cool. Yeah, um, it's pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? <laughs> Why would this even make sense in this? Yo, bro. How, how would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. That's W. There's people out there who are who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? I like getting to the answers. What's your name is the most human response. Let's be real here. How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we're talked enough. <laughs> I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna treat it like a human, bro. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. A relationship? Hmm. How long have you been down here, bro? Let's explore, man. Too long. Yo, she's not saying Again, details. No the narrator's no spitting with that. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. The narrator's spitting, fam. I'm gonna be direct. I'm gonna be direct. I'm gonna be direct. That's cute. Do you believe that? Do you think I'm some sort of? It's in the <laughs> eyes. Oh my God! It's in Monster. the eyes. Yes. Oh, Joe, the narrator might have been spit, bro. Hold on, hold on. Look at if the I'm eyes. If I'm supposed fam. to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? Or what if she just literally a cool person? And she just getting treated evilly? Deflect. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. I would hope you would tell me. No, but I'm sure they have the reasons. I'm gonna be real. I hope it was you told Ending me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. I might need it. No cow. I, I see that. the vision. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. And that's a spirit. Trust is all you need, babe. Come on. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That's also a spit. The narrator did deflect when I asked them. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. That's a spit. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. Voice of the hero spitting. So... I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. Now be real but with you me. you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Zero, as long as you know. So tell me something She's I can right trust. one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. I need proof. Show me something, please. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. I don't know if I trust you, Shore. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? Why did you say it like that, though? Who's clearly incapable of ending the world, but why did you say it like that? You sounded like you mocking me, fam. She's wrong. Yo. This isn't about trust. This is a The gaslighting is going crazy. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. Risk. The subjugating Why is risk monarch, bold no less. And highlighted. Um. How would I get you, you out? Can't, I'm gonna ask all the questions bother. I can. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. 
I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't, well, we can always put that knife to good use. Joe, look at the eyes, film. That's a devious woman, film. Her sharp That's a eyes devious one. settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. She is. I'm sure of it. Okay. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Noah, bro, the freaking narrator is demonic. You're not gonna lie? <laughs> no, I see the vision, gang. She going crazy. I'm going to keep you locked away down here at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide. This is the best one. I'm not finna instantly let her go. I don't trust her. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Literally, perfect compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. This nibba is wild and the narrator wants blood. He is crashing out, dang. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Okay. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. The eyes, the eyes. Nah, she's, yo. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. Yo, this game is testing my patience. I'm scared, fam. Okay. I get her out. She instantly kills me because she manipulated me. Look at how she's looking at me. Like, what? What? Let's be real in this situation. Let's be real in this situation. I, 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 I. I examine the chains. No cap. Listen to the title, gang. Listen to the title for sure. <laughs> we is not horny. We here to learn and get scared psychologically. You feel me? Um, I don't want to let her out. I feel like freaking. We, we're gone. Oh, I love. Her. Freaking, freaking, I'm dying though. I feel it. She's gonna Good. do some crazy. I'm glad you've come to your She's senses. gonna choke me out or something, bro. You're making a huge mistake. Narrator, we're gonna find out if I am. No. I think I am You're though. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess. She's to gonna, the wall. oh my god, I'm you scared, bro. She's gonna murderize me. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. I would fold too. Literally, like, let's be real in this situation. You feel me? I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be what I would do in my situation. I'm doing what I do in the shoes. Like, oh God, let me tee up, bro. Whoever locked this the is me, not the game. This is me. I, I, I'm the decisions the that I'm day. doing. No cap. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. That's correct. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides cutting you out of here? I'm going to check upstairs. I'll be here. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Who the What the hell? Bro. Is someone else here? I'm scared. Why is... Hey, let me out of here. I'm not finna scream. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task no. is done. Nah! The narrator's hacking me! Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. It's the narrator! I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. My fault, Nanny. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Why do you want me to slay her so bad? Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't Yo, they? No, nah, like what you like you see him, Joe? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Bro, look how his voice is. He's he, he finna hack my game, bro. He sounds like he finna come at me in real life, bro. What is happening? I'm gonna save the princess, man. Against your better judgment, oh. you place the blade against the princess's arm. 
just above oh, the massive, unyielding chain. Oh, my God. You cut into her flesh. Oh, my God. The blade is sharp ah, and you make quick work ah, of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. Oh, I'm, a, I'm dead, GG's. She's gonna do some wild, wicked stuff. Oh my God, GG's. She didn't so much as utter a sound. No! Joe, I messed up! Joe, I messed up! Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? Oh, she's the devil. So she she's the devil. Bothered by it. Oh my God, she's the devil. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Oh my God, I'm dead. Oh my God, I'm dead. She's gonna kill me. I'm no, gonna turn my back to her. Have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. She's literally not reacting to I at all. I just man. can't let her escape into the world. Hold on. What is the narrator one? As the princess approaches the bottom Damn. stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. He's cheating the game! What? Why did he put me in this situation? He's cheating the game, bro. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What do you... Nah. Hello. Stop that. He thought he could trick me. I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you oh can Oh my god, out. W. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. No, Tia, narrator. I want to see what she's about. The blade. She Move ain't doing none yet. The you feel me? Blade. Yo! You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll make this quick. Oh, GG's. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Why? What is my hands? Maybe I'll see you in another life. GG's. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Bro. Her face remains Don't unchanged trust as she these. watches oh you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? Well, GG's, I guess, man. I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. Is that the end of the world? Hold on, chapter two. He's lying to me. He's lying. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Hold on. And in the basement of that cabin Thomas is Tipperson. a princess. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, Jay? Welcome to the stream, twin. We out here trying to slay the princess. She just did me the worst way. I kind of folded. I'm not going to lie. You're here But the narrator pressing her. the problem too hard. If you don't... It will be the end like of I'm the world. Like, I'm watching now for the narrator. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. I know. Yes, yes. Don't believe a word she says. I know. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Wink. Did you just say wink out loud? No, I didn't. Wink. Just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Come on, up. Come on, princess, please. The interior of the cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls and thick, Skeptic? wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding this. anyone who enters that this is a prison. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, Yo, a this pristine looks blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. What if I could find You'll a key up here early? This right. uh... You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand against the camera. What is my hand? I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Look at me. I'm not human. But there was a mirror a second ago. And 
now it's gone. The narrator's changing if he the game, to know about bro. Him, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Voice of skeptic, literally. I right, take the blade, blade from man. the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good idea. Much better to be armed than to go in with Hold blind hope. Hold on. I should. Oh my god! I should have went in without the weapon. To show her I'm not even on timing like that. That would have been better. Uh, the door to what the if the narrator would have let me? Revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Yes, ma'am. I wonder what visitors she could be referring to. Were we not the first? I like the voice of Skeptic. He keep it real. You walk down the stairs Whoa. and lock eyes with the princess. <laughs> she looks oh. up at you. Oh, the heavy my collar God. around her neck clanking loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. I don't like the narrator, fam. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Yes, ma'am. You don't have to tell me twice. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Dude, I don't trust the narrator. Might as well put her at ease. So you do you as she asks and sit on the floor. Yes, ma'am. Still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? I've been here before. I'm the only one who remembers that. My intentions, what do you mean? What happened after I died last time? The other chain on the wall, what is it for? I think I'm going to leave you here, actually. You're not much of a threat. Bye. Leave the princess in the basement. Um, Let's get some answers. Uh, What the other wall? I don't know. But you could always try it on. What's she trying to? What's she trying to do? Yo, I'm with it. You know, I'm with it. No, you don't got to tell. What? I will. Maybe it'll fit. <laughs> My fault. Hold on. Let's lock in. Look, what does the title say? What does the title say? Let's lock in. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. I wouldn't do that if I were you. She told me to. I'm not. Why is that? I'm gonna, mm, she just told me to. Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? And Maybe what? if I do. Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. I like the voice of Skeptic, bro. I'm telling you, bro's a real nibble. But what if he's telling the truth? He isn't. I am. Let it go. Let's expect that thing. <sighs> Against your better like judgment, side you eye. approach the chain dangling from the you. far wall. The princess watches you with full disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? Yes. It's bad. Yo. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. And, as if your situation weren't bad enough, 
The same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Maybe that wasn't so smart. Um, <laughs> excuse me? Yes? Are we stuck here now? Become yes. your own jailer. Yo. Huh, so it does fit. <laughs> and I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? She's kinky. That's funny. I like it. Come on now. <laughs> I like it. What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. That's horrible. Somebody's gonna come down here, bro. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. The narrator's not gonna let me die. Not he to touch me to kill things her we're so specifically bad. told not to touch. No, that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. I like the voice of Skeptic, man. He's real. Uh, did you know? What should we do? So we're both stuck here? Yep. No. Not one for small talk, are nope. you? Nope. God dang, I can't get a conversation, man? That's rude. Literally. Why well, should I keep talking to you? My you and the princess man. wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. <laughs> you're waiting for anything. This is so boring. There must be something we can do to get out of here. There must be something we're missing. But there isn't. The narrator trying to manipulate Time me. Time passes. It passes and passes and passes. And at least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. But well, why do I have to slay her for the world to be saved? But she's not ending anything. She's Literally. Just sitting there. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. That's so cap. You're weird, narrator. How exactly does that work? It just does. But your line of questioning is interrupted by the passage of even more time. He's even cut us that, off with the story. Even more time passes again. And let me guess, the cabin remains the same. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. He's broke. That's just how bro, things work. I love Skeptic. Oh my God, bro. I actually love this Nizza. I suppose you're correct. Things are changing. The differences are small at first. A bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion there. But then they get larger and larger. I don't like small talk, remember? Fam, you don't want to... God dang, man! I'm in the same boat. We can at least be nice, fam. You Still even... rude. Literally. My fault, man. I'm going to shut up. Try to be nice. You continue to wait in silence, and the cabin continues to change. The decay comes faster now. You can see earth through holes in the stonework. Can watch lichen spread along the seams of the Yo, walls. Yo, this is clean, fam. That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if oh the my god. are starting to erode. Oh my god, skeptic, I love you! Bro, 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 bro. This is the best character in this game, by the way. She hasn't starved. I guess she hasn't. He's, the narrator's manipulating us, bro. Look at this. What do you Even mean? More silent, we're not time dead. passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass and pass and pass until suddenly there are no walls. Hold on. Then. And? Yes, sir. We don't got I think he's gone. Would you look at that? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. I like you. So this is the outside world. It's cold. It. What the? 
What? But if you don't get a chance to respawn, something has taken her away and it left something in her stead. She's gone. Where did she go? Should what just happened, and fam? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I'm gonna approach the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. Fam, what do you mean, don't do this? Yo, I got goosebumps low key. I'm getting taunted. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Hold on. What am I? Silent touches you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's finally in it. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Am I the demon fam? You are at the cabin. The princess. Yo. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What are you on God? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I'm Kaylin. A person, a set of eyes witnessing from one perspective. I think that you are more like me than you are like a person. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm a person, ma'am. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Yo, is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? I'm not even human, you just said that. So clearly the world has ended. What is, what are we even in? We had some type of domain expansion, fam. Uh, do you know what the world is? I know only space? that they are. Do we? Do we know each other? Attack the entity. Destroy your body. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. How do we reach them? There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe I'm her so to be tweaked, able to. I'm so tweaked, bro. What is happening in this game? What? I'm so lost. I'm so gone, bro. Hold on, bro. I'm actually so... <laughs> what is happening? perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Aren't you scared that they'll find a way to kill you? Why did they screenshot this? Okay, make me forget. I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Don't start hitting me with that. Man. We don't need that textbook extra marinara stuff, man. I don't even know what I just said, but lock in, bro. We don't need all that. Let it be. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? Spit. How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling. I'm so I'm lost. What is happening? I. Right. Ah, uh, you know what? Just make me forget. She though. asks that I tell you, you to got remember it. her. Remember who? Th that better not be the prisoner. I was trying to talk to her the whole time. <laughs> Fail. Am I permanently dead? What? Just, what? 
Oh my Skinny fuck, mixing up the turpies got me lifted up. Quick combust, you better pack your bags before you sit with us.